Welcome to Pandemic Era 2021. The entire world has changed, but what's not changed is our guest here today winning state championships. Introduce yourself, sir. Hi, my name is Cole Thomas. I wrestle for Rowe High School, and this is my third state championship. Third of four? Yes. 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. After you watch this one, go back and make sure you watch all of Cole's because they're all great wrestling, all great stories. Now, I've asked, I think this is the, I think Spencer is the only other wrestler that I've done a 2020, no, I take that back. I've done, um, this is the third, I've done um, Adams, uh, JT Adams from Christian yep. County. And both those guys have said, either off camera or on camera, that they really enjoyed, like actually enjoyed wrestling more this year because it wasn't like a grind it wasn't you know staying on all weekend it wasn't a grind because there was a limited number of meets a limited number of like participants in the duel you could be home you know go out wrestle and you wouldn't go that far from home go out wrestle come back and you still got you know pretty much your entire saturday your whole weekend uh did you feel that way about yeah pandemic era 21 so junior year um i had actually not just because I was afraid of the virus or anything, but it made it a lot easier on me to be able to stay home and mm -hmm. still do schoolwork for, at Ryle. Mm -hmm. But I stayed home and did uh, the Zoom classes. But it made it so much easier just to be able to go in and practice and um, kind of get to enjoy my weekends a lot more. I was able to do a lot more um, things I don't do besides wrestling, hunting, and fishing. I was able to do a lot more of that because we, um, we'd we wrestle on Saturdays till like 1 o'clock, eat with the team or whatever, and I felt like... In general, our team got a lot closer this year because we were able to go out to our friend's house after right. the matches and hang out all day. And so junior year was a lot of fun. I know that's something also on the referee side. It was a whole lot better for, you know, for us is usually weigh-ins were later instead of having to get up and drive, you know, be there at 8 for weigh-ins. You Weigh-ins maybe started at 10. Yeah. And we were done most of the time until they made it to where they could have 8 teams. We were done most of the time, you know, 2 or 3 o'clock. So it was it was good for everybody. But I would not want to go back to what we had to go through. No. If there's not a shot in this world, I would much rather take an early way in in a late day than dealing with uh, Miss Rona. Yep. So, it's got you at 38-0. That is a great, that's 22 matches, I believe, less than what you wrestled the previous year. Yeah. Are you just, I, I think Kentucky had the rule, like you couldn't travel out of state. So you have to wrestle everybody in state. Yeah, correct. So, so that year, um, I was pursuing, was pursuing my. Um, I think at that time it would have been my second. I don't. I don't remember actually. But I know we weren't able to wrestle in Ohio, so that made it really difficult getting competition. A lot of times we just had little duels with smaller mm. Kentucky schools, so right. it made the challenging or like the challenges of like a normal season kind of a little less, where right. we had more of a not to say it's a softer lineup, but. We weren't up wrestling. I, I no, I understand, and that's fair. I mean, you know, you're a two-time state champion, defending, going for your third. I mean, you need to see tough competition. Yeah. Because they're not. I'm like, oh, you know, we'll take it easy on Cole. Bless his heart. You know, no, they're going to come out and fire everything they got at you. They're yep. going to bring out the heavy artillery. One little tidbit about the 2021 season was we had to have semi state. Yeah. And the state tournament was one day. It got moved. The state tournament got, venue got moved from the Horse Park to George Rogers Clark High School in Winchester just because to keep the number of or the number of fans down. And I can understand why they done it. Yeah. I can understand why that year they moved and only had an eight man bracket and done the semi state. I I totally get it. But you're having to wrestle in a sense um, two different state tournament rounds. Yeah. And I. I think you guys hosted one of the semi states. Yeah, we right? we um we hosted uh, semi state that year at Ryle, mm -hmm. but it made it really nice because it was we didn't have to travel far at I'm all. Saying, just right up the road here. Yeah, five minutes away, so it made and it really nice. So, let's go through your semi state matches real quick. Start off wrestling Blake Demoss from Holmes. You win that by fall in twenty two seconds. Yep. The next round, I'm not sure if they're rounds or just advancements. I'm not really sure how, like what the exact terminology is. If like finals, I don't think they were awarded medals. Yeah. But the next round, you wrestle Nicholas Amanteo from Great Crossing. You win that by fall in 59 seconds. And then you wrestle, in I guess the final round of semi state, you wrestle Jason Holden from Campbell County. You win that by fall in 45 seconds. 
So three matches, all three pins in less than three minutes. Yep. I mean, that's a pretty good day's work. But we move on to the state tournament, eight-man bracket. Your first match of the day, quarterfinals, is against Caleb Barnes at Johnson Central. You win that by a fall in 48 seconds. Semifinals, you wrestling Jaden Frazier from Paducah Tillman. You win that by a 12-7 decision. Then you get to the finals, and you're wrestling George Faree from Louisville Trinity. Now, of course, you're a four-time state champion. You win this one. But don't feel bad for George because George goes on in 2022 and he wins the 157-pound state championship. And we said in all the videos so far, every state championship match you had, you wrestled at some point a state champion. Yeah. Whether, like, Isaac, you wrestled in 20 and 22, he wins it in 21. Yep. George, you wrestle him in 21, he wins it in 22. And then Spencer, you wrestle him in 19, he wins it in 20 and 21. Yeah. So... You've had, without a doubt, the toughest run of state tournament or state finals matches that anybody's ever had, ever, in the history of Kentucky wrestling. You're you had the hardest four matches on paper yeah. that anybody's ever had, which is kind of cool to say. Yeah, it is. It's pretty sweet to know that. And of course, we have the video. We're gonna put it on and get Cole's take on it. All I guess two years after the fact in pandemic now did you at any point wear a, i know this is gonna sound crazy but did you wear a mask while you wrestled no um i was thankful kentucky wasn't like that like other states i heard i know wisconsin was you had to wear a mask while you competed um me me myself andrew dennison michael ford mike johnson and eric friddle went down to gatlinburg in the weekend before uh, Thanksgiving in, in 20, uh, 2020 and at the big convention center there had like 30 some mats going and there was teams from all across the whether it was like high school team like a all-star team whatever and certain states like they were having to wear masks while wrestling like Michigan yeah. I mean I can't imagine wearing a mask wrestling and even while they were there they had to I guess adhere even though we was in the state of Tennessee they had to, had to adhere to their state their rules. states yeah. and there was kids coming out you know wearing masks and I'm like of course, we had to wear like a face shield or something, but not like an actual mask. Like I can't imagine, you know, how strenuous that would be, going, especially like in a state tournament, knowing what's on the line, having to wear one of those daggone masks. Yeah, I I literally could not imagine that because I just know the amount of how it takes away your breath. I mean, yeah. everyone's gonna be sucking for air yeah. when it comes to second period. You, even. you better believe it, no matter how good a shape you're in, your yeah. your body's just not designed to do that. And thank God, we're out of that. But enough of us talking, we're going to get the video set up and get Cole's take on 2021. We're at George Rogers Clark High School, Winchester, Kentucky. And this is, I think this is what, 126 pounds yep. this year. So what, 126 pounds. So you've kind of progressively went up 106, 120, 126, just body naturally getting bigger. Uh, just, I guess, lifting, gaining weight and... That's the way life goes. Yeah. I can't, for the life of me, like some of the larger weights, the people try to stay like at, you know, a certain weight for all four years. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I couldn't imagine staying at 20 or 26. I couldn't imagine being 32 could, right now. <laughs> could you have made 120 as a, as a junior? I don't believe so. I think I walked around, I think the biggest I got that summer was maybe 38, mm -hmm. 38, but COVID made that really nice junior year because... Yeah. I mean, I think at the state tournament, it was like you had to weigh 130 to, to wrestle right. for 126, which right. made it stupidly easy to get and to that. There, there are some stories we have not shared on camera of guys, like before there was a two-day weigh-in. Guys would come in, you know, like 145 pounds, come in weighing like 160 because it was a one-day weigh-in. Gosh. So you can, you can imagine, especially some of the heavier weights or even some of the lighter weights, yep. just how big of a difference that was. All right, enough of us talking. Let's watch this. Of course, George has got the Trinity Green on. This is when we got the new singlets this year. I love these ones. Now, these are sharp too, man. Especially with the last name on the back. It's sweet. Did you get to keep yours? Yeah, I, I guess, of course. Yep, I got, I got, uh, there's a white one and an orange one. So mm -hmm. we wear the orange ones for like the qualifying rounds and then the whole team agreed white looks good in the finals. Oh, yeah. They, and bo both schools here are wearing white singlets. Yep. As, you know, it's just, 
makes it feel like a bigger, like a big deal. Like, yep. Wow, this is, you know, this is something. There you go. Nice shot. Nice shot here. Get in on it. Yeah, George was so strong. I, we uh, we wrestled at the the Bryce Shefford duels at mm -hmm. Union County uh, prior to this match, and I know it was a, I had. I think I'd, I had bumped up to, I, it might have been 132, because this would be, he was at 32, and we had a super tough close match. Mm. Yeah. You got uh, Jason, Sidoris, and Mike Ford were out. Yeah, I think this is his second state finals match. Jason is ref for me. Or yeah, he, yeah, he refereed your uh, Spencer, I believe. Yeah. All right. Cover. Oh, 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 got a caution on green. What are we doing, George? Here, just trying to keep a tight ride on top. Trying right. to, that tight waist. I love going tight waist and the cross wrist. Mm -hmm. Just being able, good position here. Looking for a navy. Kind of sits up on it. Now I start getting my, I think I get my backs here maybe. Let's see. Yep, there's One, some backs there. Two, three. Yeah, and I, it was, I think I was, uh, it was close to pinning him here, but of course being close to being out of bounds, it's really hard. Mm -hmm. And all he had to do is kind of move a little bit, then he's out of bounds. But I liked seeing that for at the beginning of, his, of the period. That You said running the Navy, that's a move that, it's like you've taught like week one. Uh oh, got a caution again. One more it's a point. Like Navy is a, I'm not saying a very elementary move, but it's a move because it's kind of easy to like show people. Yeah. But it's very effective. I no, mean, it really yeah. is. No, it was, uh, I love doing the Navy ride. It's always just something slick that you can just mm -hmm. pull out. And as soon as you can, especially breaking somebody's hips and splitting their legs, it's nice to have that right there. And here's me, of course, running that bar. I was going to say, just a Maybe a little bit longer in the period. I think you probably would have had that right yeah. there. But All right, flip again, your choice, and then this year you defer. Yeah, I mean being at four zip and then having that uh, choice in the third period in mm -hmm. case anything crazy happens right. in the second makes it really nice. Somebody on heavy hands ain't locked up. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing here? Get out of the way, Mike. There you go. There it's it kind of almost a shot there, but I like to sit in here for a second. It does burn some time sitting mm -hmm. here, and it looks like you're kind of moving. But of course, I'm working to that that side here. Right. Oh, it's like a little arm drag. Yeah, it's hard staying sitting still. You yeah. Got, you got can watch like some of your matches. You're like, oh, I should have probably done that then, or this would have been smart to do that. Yeah, but like I was saying, it's I haven't watched this match in forever. Probably since the week maybe after winning it. Winning mm -hmm. it. <laughs> oh, uh. shot here. There you go. Get over. I got the little arm, my little arm and wizard here. I'm trying to get the hips up. Nothing yet. Nothing nope. yet. Get down to an ankle. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There, there it is. Two. Two. Yeah, and now going back to working that bar. It's nice to have that little bar. Bar because it breaks him. Mm -hmm. Kind of has uh, only one arm to kind of keep himself up on. And that's something in the progression of the videos that I have. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, there it is. That's uh oh, one, two. So like, I mean, oh. he was, he was like, I think, did he get pinned there? Yep. Was, yeah, that was that, it. That yeah. was the fall. Yeah. Unfortunately, the camera didn't pan over. Out of it. Yep. But you're flashing the three. Yep. Three timer. And of course, we get, we couldn't touch you guys. So you had to, you know, raise your hand. Yep. And. I love the way the camera ends are holding up to three. The to, three. To, yeah, to, I, got, to the crowd. I got some pretty cool photos of that from uh, different people. I'll have to get some. And of course, here's your uh, 2021 medal. Very, uh, of course, we've got all of them out here. And the uh, the plaque from from that year. 
And it's unfortunate we couldn't do a, a podium this year. Yeah. But you were on top of the podium twice. Yeah. And then, of course, now this ring, said your dad said you get some more bling if you wanted a second time. You yeah. really got some. Yeah. I uh, I love, I forget um, who had it. Um, actually, Lucas Bird from in, uh, from Ohio, who was, uh, I think, a two-time state champ for LaSalle. Mm -hmm. He had a, a matte black ring just as well like that's this. That's sharp. And so I, that's exactly, I know exactly that's what I wanted, and I was able to put a lot more uh, stones and different things on it. And it says Cole Thomas three-time. And so I love this ring. It's probably my personal favorite. That's, uh, that's of course, you guys going to see photos and stuff, of course, of it. But you're a three-timer after this. You probably, maybe not the toughest season as in competition, but probably the most challenging season yeah. that anybody, not, not just wrestling, but every sport, football, basketball, baseball. I mean, wasn't even sure we are going to have a season or not. Yeah. And just to be able to come out, get 38 matches, I believe it was, win all 38, cap off a junior season, winning your third state championship, had to be satisfying. Had to be. Yeah, it was – it was certainly awesome being able to wrestle for wrestle in Kentucky, but um, actually prior to not knowing if season if we were going to have a season, um, at this time I was looking. Uh, I don't believe I had signed yet with um, Chattanooga, so I was still looking for mm -hmm. that college scholarship. So um, I talked. We have friends and family that live in Florida, and we had a, we had almost decided to move me down to Florida oh to go down to school for the year, just to be able to keep building my resume mm -hmm. to be able to go. Um, a scholarship for wrestling. And, I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Luckily, yeah. that didn't have to happen. You no. was able to have a season in Kentucky. And, you know, sh sh kudos to the KHSAA and everybody involved with, not like I said, not just wrestling, but every sport. Because no matter if you're football, basketball, baseball, softball, whatever sport it is, everybody that, can, that is on a team deserves to be able to have a full high school career. Yeah. And we don't want to see anybody's, you know, season or like some of the seniors in the, in the 20 like the spring sports in 2020 they'll never ever get that back no and i mean never and i, I hate it for them i do you know baseball because you still hear you know stories you know this team was going to win it or this kid was going to get you know picked up here or whatever and we don't want i don't want to see that i know as a referee as a fan getting to meet you know not just uh cole as a 2022 wrestler, but, you know, guys from the 70s, guys from the 60s we've got to meet with that, you know, it it means, it means something to us. It means to your family, yeah. to the school, your classmates, your teammates, your community. It, a lot of, a lot of areas take so much pride in their high school athletics. Yeah. No matter what, it, like Union County, you know, they bring pretty much the whole county to the state tournament. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, some of the football, like state championship games, some of the basketball, you know, the whole county shuts down. Um, you know, like when a team wins state championship, you know, the fire department, everybody escorts them into town. It means, it means a lot to us. Yeah. And that's great that we were able to get every sport a state championship and a season in 2021. We got one more left to do. 2022 does Cole cap off a four p if you've been paying attention you already know the answer but we're going to go to 2022 and prove it we'll see you guys there <laughs> 